Hello everybody, I'm Barbara Ann and this is my channel Straight Out of Context. I just wanted to do a very short video introducing myself and letting you know exactly who I am. So as you can gather, my name is Barbara Ann. I'm 38 years old and I currently reside in St. Clair County, Michigan. I am in remission of stage 2 slash stage 3 cervical cancer as of October of this year, 2024. I was also born with a physical disability called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. I have type 1 and type 2. I also have fibromyalgia and MS. So with that being said, my physical disability takes up a large portion of my everyday. My health stuff, my doctors, my visits, my checkup, all of that, medication, all of that takes up most of my life. Um, and that's fine because it is what it is, but I haven't been able to work in 12 years. And of course, making videos, I'm sitting in the comfort of my own home and I have to be accommodating uh, for my physical disability because of the way that my skin, my joints, my tendons, my ligaments are affected by EDS. It's like having arthritis, like osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis combined times 10. And when I was young, I was really flexible, but now it's my extension and flexion goes above and beyond the normal range of motion. But now it's pain, just constant pain. And it's been like that since I was about 20 years old, progressively getting worse. And I'm 38 now, just turned 38 in November. So that is the largest part of who I am and what I deal with today. I do have five kids. My oldest is almost 21 and my youngest is 10 and a half. However, I do not mention and will not be mentioning my kids um, because I do believe that they have their own rights to their own privacy. I don't even and never have really posted pictures of them online. Um, there's only a handful that friends and extended family have ever seen that are on my Facebook. And quite a few of those were actually taken by my sister. So I don't like discussing my children. I don't like showing my children. Um, even though I have over a half a million photos of them throughout their entire lifetime, I do not put those on the internet and I do not discuss it. And that's just the bottom line for me. I know some people like to virtual signal and, and victim narrate um, their entire lives and, you know, their kids into that whole ooh boo hoo pity me woe is me you know feel bad for me because I have a kid with a disability I have a kid with a mental or emotional impairment yeah a lot of people do and it is what it is I understand that because I know what it's like to have a child that has ADHD or major depressive disorder or a child that has health issues or something sudden coming up like an appendix bursting and almost dying like things like that happen especially with kids if something's bound to go wrong it's gonna go wrong and you're gonna experience it trips to the ER stitches um I will say I do have three boys and two girls and so that was um that was really fun because boys are really rowdy when they're young and then they kind of calm down as as they move into older years where girls are pretty chill when they're younger and then they get very emotional <laughs> I always tell people all the time that our parents, like, it gets, it goes from being very physically demanding when they're young to emotionally demanding. And then as they move out of their teens to adult years, it becomes very mentally demanding as far as parents, parenting and raising kids. And that, that's very true, especially when you have kids multiple ages and going through those phases. But as we watch our kids grow, the one thing nobody ever ever mentions or talks about is that we grow old too and you go from being 20 to 38 like that and you don't know where the years went and you don't know where the time went and you know you did all kinds of things with your kids traveled all of it and you're just like wow it just goes by so fast and now I have a lot more time on my hands with my health and being home not being able to work so I decided to jump on here and make a new channel and so I named it straight out of context based on the fact that everything on YouTube and the internet really is out of context and that's the biggest thing that really 
peeved me when people say, oh, but you've got to know the context. Oh, but it's out of context. Oh, but you don't understand because you've got to know the context and the circumstances surrounding that. Well, that could be said for everything, right? That could be said for everything. I don't think circumstances and context really matters. Nine times out of ten, you don't need it because you can pretty much gather. Um, so I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to start making content. It just won't be at the level and at the pace that other creators do because I'm not sitting here trying to monetize. I'm just making videos for myself, really, for myself and others. And hopefully maybe somebody sees it, likes it and agrees or maybe somebody feels like hey that's my type of person i think that way and i feel that way i'm not the only crazy motherfucker out here on the planet that thinks what is wrong with the world what the fuck is wrong with everybody that's not normal and i think that's so much so straight out of context was the perfect name for me in that regard so it is what it is um and yeah i did actually register that with the state of michigan straight out of context um, and I do own the website domain for that. So if anybody tries picking that up, you can't have it because I already do. <laughs> oh, coffee. Gotta have coffee. Anyways, I hope that everybody has a fantastic day. And if you are one of my subscribers, I want you to come to the comments and tell me about you. Because I want to know. I want to know about other people. It's so one thing. That's really weird about being in front of a camera is because I've always been a really great listener and people love to come to me for advice or just to let off steam or to vent because they know that I'm not going to take what they say somewhere else, but that I actually have a very compassionate and supportive ear and shoulder. So my biggest thing is I want to know who you are. Where are you from? How old are you? What's up in your life? What are you going through? Because the biggest thing in that is not feeling alone. And if you're here, hello, you're not alone. So I hope with that said, everybody has a great day, a fantastic week. It's Monday. Ugh. Nobody likes Mondays, right? I actually don't mind Mondays. But I hope you guys have a fantastic one. Peace.